man, you come straight out of a cunt. Uh, Big dog, Clint. He was stuck in the quant the, the the rap snacks quantum realm. Man, uh, dog, I, I don't like when meetings run over more yeah, than they should. Yeah, go for it, man. Let's hear your take on it without even hearing our our opinion. Let's see what yeah. you got. Yeah, so yeah. First, so so as I asked him, but like before before we jump 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 into it, I want to know based off of you just seeing it, what would you give it from a scale of one to ten with Ant Man and the Wasp? Ant Man and the Wasp, I would give it a seven point five, maybe. Okay. The seven point a seven point five. Not it wasn't a ten is a ten being Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, you know what I'm saying? And a one, you know, being I don't know, Thor uh the dark world or whatever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just I mean, or Love and Thunder. I, I mean that wasn't a one, that was about a three, but yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give it a solid seven point five. I'm That's gonna take too high for me. Keep going. That, for you, Ant Man was way too hot. That's way too far. Keep going. Dion Keep. had the lowest score of us all, just so you know. I okay. said seven point five as well. I said okay. six point five. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's below a five, and I don't think it's above a eight. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, somewhere in there, we we good. But for me, where I did not like, um, I did not like, I didn't enjoy. I, I was his thing. I wanted more of Kang's story a little bit. I want to know, who, like, I wanted to know. How he got banished in the time, like come on, man. No, avoid something that give me the the event or what he did to make him be exiled. Like, don't forget, you know, the council of kings, they some they you know what I'm saying, like they some they a big deal, you know what I'm saying? Who exiled them? Why yeah. Who's the procedure? Well, right. I assume it was those three. I I, I, so I that's you know, you gotta I, I mean but you gotta why. show us, you gotta show yeah. us why, yeah. yeah so and that's, I think so. So that's what we starting off with this. So How like, do you travel? Um, we we were gonna do like the good, the bad, and the huh. Like what the look like what the fuck were they even thinking doing this stuff? So we starting off with the bad. I'm gonna let you keep going, Clint. Like you said, more of Kang's story. And I can't agree, and I can't agree with you even more. Yeah, I would have loved to see more of this version's Kang story. So, like the only thing it really showed is him, you know, not even just landing in the quantum realm, but it really showed just you know his time in the quantum realm and how mm -hmm. that happened. But we need so like we know Janet and how she got trapped in the quantum realm. She got trapped in the quantum realm because he was trying to save Earth, you know, going by yeah. go, going subatomic and stopping a nuclear bomb. Well, Kane, you're telling us that you got banished. Who did it? Why'd they do it? What was your what was your like kind of like okay? Think of how he who remains and think of the, the story of Loki, and they show you why they prune these timeline or not prune these mm -hmm. time but why they why this why this is a big deal right or why taking them out the timeline and resetting the timeline is a big deal but they don't show you to me it could have been okay well kang was doing this and kang was doing that he had to go one way or another and i didn't i didn't get that and the, the second thing that i didn't like about the movie um it made ant-man look a little too strong in my opinion <laughs> Um, I, I know he's, I know that he has, you know, he, you know, he can use powers and he can grow and blah, 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 blah. But it's like, I needed to see Ant-Man. I don't want to say lose, but it, he, he looked like he won and it became a hand to hand combat. It should have never gotten to that. Kang's, you know, technologies to me, I thought was way far superior above that, even though it got damaged, but how does it get damaged? The so now that now that that would now see that was the thing that I didn't understand now that part because like I was telling them uh previously Kane don't have hands like Kane was bullied so like Kane can't really fight like that but as to Clint's point with all this future tech ant bites shouldn't be taking out your suit like <laughs> like <laughs> you know, and, like with all the different no. metals all the shit you didn't study like ant yeah. bites shouldn't be taking you out. To and the, by you doing this, to the, to by the, you doing this, can you flip a nigga over? Huh? By him doing this, can yeah, flip a this, nigga over? Yeah. Hey, I, I, I just fly away, bro. Why are you doing now that's this? what he should have did. What I was saying, what I was gonna say is to his defense, a swarm of anything will overtake you. Like, you know what I'm sure. saying? Like, like to his defense, that was a lot of motherfucking yeah, oversized ants. And, and however, he, he should have just flew he, away. But he did get jumped though, and I think yeah. too because he was, but again because he was trying to do so much 
that he got jumped, especially by Modoc and then jumped by the rest of these people that he didn't lose. It's kind of almost like it's like a, it's like watching Brock Lesnar fight in the ring. Like they didn't beat when he loses, they didn't beat him. They had to put him through a table, like through a whole <laughs> bunch of chairs, super kicks. Like when more people had to beat him up before the one person he facing pins him and wins. And you know so what I think it, it is? Like, it, yeah, but I was gonna say, even to Clint's point, there were a lot of points in there where he could have done the whole like reminiscing of what happened. Like, so like when he's sitting in the chair like that, there could have been a clip of us seeing him like battling some of his kings or showing us like what kind of led to that exile, like his his last like defeat before if, he gets sent out. Even if it was a lie, right? And when I say a lie, I mean like, <laughs> no, but don't forget, there's always three sides to a story. Exaggerate. Yeah. Side, my side and what really happened. And for mm-hmm. me, it's like, yo, if you're, if, if, if you're doing this origin story or whatever, I would love to hear Kang's perspective on yeah. why he was banished into yeah. the quantum realm. Did we understand would, him? That's a good question. Did we under, do you understand why he needs to get out? Did we like, I kind of get it. We never felt, we never got that killmonger. We never got No, I no, no, I will say I got that. I I got that part How? with How? the time yeah. when he was talking to Janet in the in the uh in the uh in the spot and the timeline started forming because remember, I was like, okay, if he's talking about I'm going to burn them out of time, I'm like, yo, this may be he who remains. This well, may be the that's, one. That's another theory. Yeah, and I was like, that may be the one that is going to figure out, like, how to conquer this. He gets his ass with it, and he's the one that comes up with Goliath and so with Goliath and yeah. stuff. And so I was like, that's what I started seeing of, okay, I see why Kang. And then what he said was all of them playing with time like yeah. children. But, and it was just, yeah. I was going to say, but, but to what Dion is trying to say, and I think that this is, the the there's two issues that I do believe that we that we have with this movie in general. I think that one we don't respect Ant Man being victorious. I feel like <laughs> if this was Cap, if this was anybody else, and then within this yeah. story, because I think that that's what it is. It's like we we <laughs> went in like Ant Man's going to die. So with him being victorious, it makes no sense because like if this was Captain America or Bruce and and this and this all played out, we'd be like, yeah. okay, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. No, not enough, not enough to yeah. defeat Kane because I like I just Kane. like I just. <laughs> said previously his last his last two villains was a teleporting ghost and a dude with fucking daddy issues that had a, a bumblebee suit that was fighting yeah. in front of cars yeah. that yeah. were toys and yeah. then the second thing to what dion was saying is so with kill with, with everybody right with thanos there was a debate oh it makes sense the resources you got to go have whatever but no he's taking it too far with Killmonger, like, yeah, y'all, y'all could be doing so much more but again like you know he's taking it too far but we like you, you had that with with Kang right now, you like you understand why he wants to get out. He has this vendetta against the other Kings, but it's like, what's like we we don't we, we don't have a debate. Nobody's like Kang is right. He got to do this. Oh, Kang is wrong for doing this. We don't really know yet. The, like the the driving force of Kang. Well, like you said though, because we don't also know the force of what the rest of them are up to. Yeah. But one thing we all can admit to is that. You can't really find support in a whole cast that's assholes. <laughs> Janet, Janet Van, like, look, let's break it down. Janet Van Dyne is an asshole for Ass- keeping him, word, bro. <laughs> for keeping him locked up, not saying anything, and then making it seem like, oh, I've been out there by myself for thirty years. He but she life. over here banging Bill Murray, banging. <laughs> <laughs> I had me. <laughs> And being a freedom fighter and stuff, I'm like, yeah. oh, so you just got to say, she no. lost her, her daughter didn't trust her the entire movie. Her, her, her daughter was going like, I saw that little snarkiness yeah. between mom and daughter, like, bitch, yeah. who you are? You know what I mean? But it's like, why isn't Janet forthcoming about all this? We're talking about a multiverse cosmic threat, and you're keeping it to yourself. Right? Didn't say anything. How you know what I just thought about? I know you just thought about why the hell would she go back? Into the quantum realm was Scott, was Scott Lang when they had to get the the little particles. She's like, I told y'all never to go there again. But she said, Scott Lang, yeah, go back into the quantum realm. And get that was yeah, right. No, 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 because because that's the thing. She she put them in a time vortex. So the thing mm-hmm. is, like, there's no signal that was being given only directly to them. 
in the movie, his daughter put out a signal that went to everyone. Yeah, and that's why Modoc caught yeah. it. And that's, that's that why classic, she got so upset. Yeah, that's that classic sending a signal out in space, but you don't know who's going to answer it. And then all of a sudden, you got a fucking alien invasion. It was like, mm-hmm. yeah, that was to, that was reckless as fuck, of Cassie. Like, why are you sending this to this realm? Like, yep, but but to Dion's point though, Janet, an asshole still for letting Scott go into that swamp. But like, you go, <laughs> you go into the front yard of the quantum realm, but you got to stay right there. <laughs> don't go past the driveway. Are you going? No, you going to wind up in some driveway. shit. Yeah, you going to wind up in some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, Scott Lane beat Kang the Conqueror. Nigga, wow, really? That's the that's the title, Scott hey, Lane. All I know is. Scott's next book is about to be fire. Fire! <laughs> His next book about to be a motherfucking bestseller. That nigga about to Times be- number one. <laughs> yeah. Yo. But that's his hearsay, though. He was in the quantum realm. You can't, you can't, you can't prove so, that. Here's my other oh. thing, right? Here's my other question, real quick. I'm sorry. Mm. No, you good. But to the untrained Mar- or person who hasn't been watching Marvel or who may not know so much about Marvel, right? So in the quantum realm, we saw twice, right? Janet aged in the quantum realm, right? In the second, in the, and also the second time we saw the quantum realm, Scott said it felt like five minutes, five hours, but it was really five years. You're telling me no time is they've only been in the quantum realm for a day? Well, no, no, remember how we said uh there there's different layers to this quantum realm, and all of them operate on time differently because it's just a whole bunch of mm-hmm. different stuff packed into here. So wherever he was, and supposedly the, the theory is he was in a time vortex, which is why time was different. But as for her, she had really been down in the level she was for 30 years, and she just and it did and it didn't change in time because that's what I kept asking too. It's like okay, so it felt like 30 years for Janet Van Dyne. To, for, for, for Janet Van Dyne too. It was legit 30 years. Yeah, yeah. Like, so they're both on the same time as the earth and then what is on there. But where that yeah. pocket of the quantum realm Scott was, it did it varied in a different thing. Same place like where the Avengers traveled to go through time and stuff like that yeah. to get the infinity stones. Hey, they had to do that, man. Because imagine if she came out as a 20-year-old uh Janet Van Dyne and like, hey, you my husband. And he over <laughs> yeah, all the stuff. Women like Michael Douglas though. Oh yeah, yeah. She's just been another Captain Zeta Jones. <laughs> been like, come here, my liver spotted darling. <laughs> liver spotted. <laughs> oh, how I missed you. Uh, so what were some other things that y'all didn't like? We still on the bad parts. I know one thing for me, like we talked about, was Modoc. Um, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I mean, I know I didn't. I missed that part, but yeah, I'm good. Or they didn't even need Modoc. They didn't have to have so- it. It wasn't important to me, like especially first of all, just the whole face thing was so creepy. Oh, Second man. thing is, is like why, what, like what did Kang see it? I, it it didn't yeah. make sense to me. It just didn't make. He didn't fit in the story. I'd rather it just been Aim and Tarleton being Modoc yep. instead of <laughs> well, well, so, well, supposedly from what I had caught when I saw it the second time, Modoc built all of that for him. So that's what I, w- I was catching. Modoc is the one that was responsible for engineering a majority of what Chronopolis looked like. And so because we also got to remember, too, he's a supercomputer. And so like you also compare that with Darren Cross's brain. I can understand why it was there. But again, too, even to that point, it was still unnecessary because like he's from the, the 30th century. Like you didn't need him to help you build all of that stuff when you already know how to do it. Mm-hmm. And then the only other thing I didn't like was. Just how, he, how Clint said it was a creepy face. This was the perfect example I saw of why they need to start bringing puppets back. Like, imagine Modoc if he was like designed by Jim Henson or like Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, that would have looked so much better than them trying to plaster a V uh, a right. effects face and stuff like that. And you just had to yeah. try to make it move and be more actionable, even if putting the mask on when he's trying to fly around like y'all did, but yeah. trying to make it so CG and stuff like that. It looked like when you look into one of the magnifying glasses and they just real yeah. big. Like, yeah. That's what that shit look like. I, I, I would much rather them showing the face looking really jacked up. They say, oh, and then he covers up and they should never show it again. Yeah, never should keep it with the, ma- <laughs> keep it with the mask on because he looked at badass with the mask. Another piece to that, though, for me was so he just became a good guy because Cassie told him not to be a dick. Yeah, right. trash. Right. Trash. That's but, it. But you know what, though? I will say it to play on it from the Ant Man basis. 
Okay. Da- Darren has always had an identity issue of trying True. to find who he is. He True. got un- he got under he got under um Michael he got under Hank Pym's wing and that forced his identity. And then when that wasn't enough, he tried to do it in the realm of being this better than him, yep. but still not finding himself. And then going into the quantum realm, you find this person at show and you knocking at death's door that brings you back. And you know, like Kane, hey, hey, like then they don't play that shit, but like I found you, so you're gonna work and make sure you don't speak in my presence. So yeah. It's like I can I can see it, but like y'all said, for it being oh, Modoc though, it was a crappy ending. Yeah, I think they they get. I think the issue is they they keep on taking menacing characters that we've seen be like, yeah. oh, this is Avengers level threat, and you just turn them into a joke. That's yeah. the issue. Right, right. Modoc right. was never a joke. I never knew who Modoc was until the video game. And, yeah. and when I played the video game, I'm like, yo, this motherfucker, he mean business. Like, mm-hmm. what right. this this, this storyline makes sense. Like, in humans with the Terrigen Mist and, you know, how he, you know, it, he got it, somehow it, it affected him. And, yeah. like, that, that's a story, bro. Like, mm-hmm. this this is not, Modoc deserves better than this. I'll just he could, he should have got out. He should, I, th- I think Kang should have got out. Uh, Modoc should have got out. The thing that bothers me is they're 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 definitely relying on the 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 viewership to know who the Kang, uh, uh, the uh, the Council of Kangs are. So so imagine a person who never watched any of the comic book or read any of the comic yeah. book, like just like what the hell is happening? I thought this is the guy that was in in Loki. He got thought he got killed. Yeah, I, I thought that this was, guy- first of all that was a lot of people's reaction. In the right, field, who's not Marvel fans? Like I when when the second trailer uh popped up with victor timely people were like i thought loki died like, right i mean uh king yeah but no, no no but they thought loki died they didn't watch loki some people didn't watch loki yeah oh yeah, oh, yeah. if you didn't watch loki then you yeah. wait but you definitely and, confused but then the same thing with multiverse of madness when you realize there's different versions of this so it's like yeah, yeah. you're gonna be confused but that's another reason why we even in our you know early in the episode about i don't think it's a good idea to try to put pieces of the mcu into Disney series for us to watch to get it because I'm like, yo, right. some people may not sit here for eight episodes to yeah. find out in episode six, oh, that's how this ties in yeah. and stuff like that. And then, like yeah. how y'all just said, now they don't know that this crucial piece happened. And I do right. have my hear me out moment. Okay, go for it. I'm so hear me out with the second credit in credit C. So for those like again. If you're in here, you need deep in the spoilers. So at the end of the second credit, we got to see Victor Timely yeah. presenting some kind of machine. Mm-hmm. That's going to change the future. So what if that's Kang the Conqueror and that's where he ended up falling into? You know, I'm not, I, I don't, I don't think that's a bad take, right? I do think that could be, if, I either think, that bird, I think that that Victor Timely dude is either him, or I think he's the I think he's the earlier version of He Who Remains. I don't know. I don't so know. My hear me out to kind of go with that. I but actually I, think that robot version of King that we saw. So there's a there's a robot version called uh, Scarlet Lutri um, something Scarlet Charlie. Centurion. Scarlet Centurion. Centurion. Right. And um, but that robot one didn't look like him. Like he wasn't red or anything. Like he looked like a whole new different version of of that we never seen of the king. And uh, hold, and my hold on, dudes, dudes, just to help you out, just to help you out. So they actually do show Scarlet Centurion. Man. Um, when Man. they show when they show the huge arena and stuff like that, and okay. they're starting to pop in, there's a red figure in there. Ah, okay, in there. so and that's, so, that's then, so then that leans a little bit more into my theory is the only way that a king comes out is you cause that fight that inner dimension that that rift within the kings right and obviously ramatut and that king don't like each other like they were like he was like you just mad that you couldn't kill him i'm wondering if there's some type of remnants if that was his backup plan if that was really him like if to cause that turmoil in between so eventually when we get to the secret war like because right now they're all just coming together they're not fighting. They're all in that arena coming together. But at some point, we know shit's going to hit the fan and they're all going to fight. And it usually starts with in bet- within. Like, somebody's going to be with one of those kings is going to be like, man, fuck all this shit. And then start this whole battle royale. And then keep in mind, though, 
that ain't all the Kangs. Like That's he not, said, he yeah. he called all of us. These are the ones that joined the console. Yeah. We still don't know the ones that actually don't mess with the console and want to go fight them. Yeah, and then and then even too like that's why it's a whole bunch of like it'll make you go cross eyed like Cyclops thinking about it because <laughs> even <laughs> watch a <laughs> nice callback <laughs> appreciate it <that. laughs> uh, even going to the second you know the first post credit scene Ramatut is technically talking to himself. Because yeah. he becomes Immortus. Yeah. Because Fantastic Four run him off. He falls into limbo, and that's how he sees everything that's going to happen. So he's technically talking to himself, which makes it even more weirder that he bowed to him because it's like, yo, now I see the egotistical side of all of these kegs. I see why now it's going to take the implosion from the inside in order to defeat all of them because you can see it in them. And that's why I said, too, even going back to like how y'all said, trying to get attached to Kang, it's like, we have to remember, Kang's an asshole. Asshole. Just just through and through. All all versions, all (laughs) of them are assholes because y'all got bad that y'all got bullied. Now you want to go play with time. And like he said, (laughs) these are the ramifications of it. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Dion, can you tell me some of your other bad moments before we hop into the good? Other no, I'm 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 tapped out. I'm I'm getting frustrated. But no, no. So if, <laughs> if, if the movie if, if the movie wasn't the thirty first movie of the Marvel franchise, I would be happy with the movie. The fact that they were setting up so much in Phase Four that we didn't get like a a glimpse of tying in any of the characters, a little a little kind of quip, some sort of coup de gras. Like I, this movie could be removed from the the Marvel franchise, and I guarantee you it does not move anything forward. But it moved Ant Man forward. That's not wow. saying a lot. No one's seen it. This is we don't this respect world. Ant Man's triumph. That's, <laughs> and that's and that's really what it is. That's really what in this a is. secret world. That's what this was. But no, if you think about it, like that's it. Like, what does Ant Man do after that? Like, yo, you're good. Like, this was it. Like, now it's like, yo, let me spend time with my daughter. Let me start helping out more to build to the next. Keep him in the quantum. Keep him in the quantum world. That would have been groundbreaking. If him and Wasp stayed there, not getting killed, but it got trapped there, that would have been a better ending. Well, I'm sure they finna travel there. I'm sure they finna travel there since now they got that entrance to it. Yeah. Trash. But think about (laughs) it, though. But now think about it, though. If that's the end part, like let's be honest, do we really want to see Ant Man again? I was to say keep him in the quantum world. Keep, but I was gonna say he, you you ended his story. Wow. That was a that was a great ending to his story. Like I yeah. don't need to see Ant Man anymore. Like that mm-hmm. was a great third movie to the Ant Man franchise. It's done. Same thing yeah. like with Thor. I don't need another Thor yeah. movie. Yeah. I don't need any of that. And that's why I say for him. I like that that was what it was. We saw him fight on a small scale. We seen what he can do when he got to a bigger scale. And now what we see with him doing on an even more massive scale. Because let's face it, like you said, we don't respect Scott Lang. So it's not like <laughs> <laughs> we really want to keep seeing him come back and do stuff. He was the guy that entertained us until it was time for the next important thing. And the only really bad thing to take away from that was you introduce the next big bad with somebody we don't really care for to see him interact with. Like I said, had this been Cap or anybody else, we would be more into this. But the fact that Ant-Man is already comical, very funny, got punched in prison. You got Lewis and T.I. in it. You just kind of like. And and this dude beat Kang? And they leaned in on him being the everyman. The very first line is, this makes no sense. I'm a superhero. It's like. (laughs) Nigga, <laughs> like yeah. we already feel that about you, and now you're just yeah. going to confirm it. <laughs> but I, but here's the good thing I'll say, and we'll jump into this. Like I said, it, it's also the same thing that it closes that chapter with him. So it's just yeah. like, yo, I don't, I don't need to see him jump into anything more. And to, I like where it, it's kind of, it's kind of good and bad. I like where they show where everything's set at. Like Wasp is running like a foundation, so Wasp could retire. She wouldn't even have to really be Wasp anymore. And then we can see Ant-Man continuing to be a celebrity like wherever he goes. So it's like, I like that. And uh, one thing I, I'll say I didn't like, though, just to add to that, I didn't like that I didn't see Luis. 
in here. Me? Oh. Hey, okay. I thought I was I missing out. I didn't like that, man. <laughs> I did not like yeah. that. Like, I need his narration. He's you know what I'm saying? Like he I didn't see TI either. Nope. Yeah, I didn't see nothing. And they didn't tell us what happened to them. Like there, I think that was the thing too that kind of messed up on was that y'all made some dope B-list characters that mm-hmm. we deserve to see after like we don't know what happened to the mom and like the boyfriend that's the cop. Like I would have loved to say, like, are they married or is she right. pregnant with a new kid? You could have yeah. did that, but you didn't right. show us that. You didn't show us what happened with Louise T.I. and the other guy. Like, are is their business still flowing? Did like how did they elevate? Like that it was kind blip. of yeah, yeah, they yeah blip. did they blip? Yeah, he, to, to Dion's point, oh, did, yeah. they blip? did they blip? Did, yeah. did they stay around and become a booming business for security because they still there for the for the five years? Let me ask y'all this though. This speaking of blips in the quantum world, did half of those people get blipped? That's a good question, yo. Did they no. do they know who no, they no, 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 it's, it's, out, it's outside of time. Yeah, yeah, they, also, they yeah. also said the quantum realm is a different universe. universe don't so forget, uh, what's his name? Thanos snapped everybody in this universe. Six one six. So people think Earth six one six is just Earth. Six one six is a universe. So six one six also includes the non realms, which is Asgard and all that. Yeah, yeah. Six one six includes our version of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Xandar, mm-hmm. and all all of the other things. Like yeah. so, when Thanos snapped, he snapped. Everybody in the universe, six one six, yeah, yeah, because yeah. that makes sense. Because, yeah, the realm is not the universe, yeah. Because no. remember, we saw that in uh, Multiverse of Madness. Remember, they stopped Thanos like before he snapped, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, so it's like, yeah, that that the quantum realm wouldn't have got um, it wouldn't have got snapped or blipped, yeah, that's wild. So, so give me y'all like. The, what the f moments and just wrap it, it just as we wrap this so, up like, so the liquid from quantum manium <laughs> i ain't gonna lie dog the, understand everybody can speak drink the same the language okay drink the I, ooze i'm not gonna lie i thought that was fly because i, I like too i like that better than what they did like with guardians of the galaxy because i don't think a lot of people know what them they don't understand each other. They actually have earpieces yeah. that allow them to speak English. So, like, if, if Star Lord, if we follow through Star Lord's eyes, if he took that off, Gamora would be speaking her language. Drax would be speaking his language and stuff. And so I was like, okay, that's cool. But I'm like, I don't think the quantum realm is gonna have that. So the fact for it to be kind of tribal and it's like, drink the ooze. What I didn't <laughs> like though was like, how Cassie get it before him and he didn't see her drink this, <laughs> right? Well, right. she seems she seems more. Let's go with the flow. I yeah. assume that, but they, they were with each like, other, right. right? But they yeah. were with each other. They were standing right by each other. At some point, remember Scott was fighting. All we heard was Scott yelling, "Cassie!" We didn't hear Cassie like that at all. Cassie was like, like "Okay, yo, did you drink that." All right, like and Cassie. Then, see, that's that was my what the f moment. This is what I this is what I want Marvel to stop doing. And I get it from a movie st- t- storytelling standpoint. But these are superheroes. I do not need every superhero to have parental issues or dealing with, oh, I got to be a dad now. Like, no, let my superheroes be superheroes. I want to see superheroes suit up and beat ass. I do not need to see them dealing with a teenager who don't respect them. And now you got to deal with that dynamic. Like, I don't want that no more. Like, Marvel, stop Mm. that. (laughs) Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't didn't like how they built her character out because it was like, even to the first two movies, it's like, how she turned into this? Yeah. Like this ain't the fatherless for five years. Cassie woke. Cassie woke is a bitch. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah, but it's like to the Cassie point where woke. you you woke, but you gonna drink random alien goo. Which That's as funny. a father too, I'm even more disappointed. You'd be like, so you just gonna swallow <laughs> shit. That's what you're doing. You just, just gonna enjoy random foreign liquids going out your mouth. That's what we doing. Especially if you Whoa. like, literally, you Whoa. just got you just got to the quantum realm, and you already <laughs> just like I'm with it. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yo, what have you been doing? Yeah, yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie. We don't know if her parents got blipped. You know what I'm saying? So she could have been, she could have been an orphan for five years. So she could have been like gonna... raised with a black. No, 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 no. Her parents were there. Her mom, because she was living with her mom. Yeah, yeah, her mom was there. No, actually, no. You know what? They didn't show who she was living with. Oh, no, she right. could have been by herself. We assume she was with her mom, but we, yeah. she she could have been with relatives because they never showed. If you zoom in the with. back, is a nigga in the back with a white beater <laughs> on. 
He like, hey, who that? Hey, who at the door? <laughs> Drinking orange juice out the carton. Like, what? You said that's your dad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's the Rooks <laughs> fan movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. It got to be played by Ben Rames. Right. <laughs> hey, same shit like, hey, who that? That's your aunt daddy? That's your aunt pop? <laughs> <laughs> who that nigga? <laughs> no oh, respect. That's what's up, man. Hey, just, just come in here, man. That's what tricky do. What you been doing, my daughter, oh, yeah. for the past five years? Oh, so you the aunt nigga, huh? Oh, yeah, you nigga, yo, nigga. She, she was telling me about you, man. How you be shrinking and shit. Yeah, man. I, I see I see you shrunk out of her life for five years. I'm just fucking with you, bro. I'm just fucking with you, bro. I'm too soon. Too soon. It's my bad, bro. My bad. But yeah, no, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm DeAndre, bro. I've been, you know, <laughs> holding her down for, you know, why you been gone and stuff. <laughs> oh, get big. Let me show you this girth. All right. That's why you got divorced. That's why they call you Ant Man. That's what's up, man. We're here now. We're here. <laughs> We're here. Thanks, Dion. Like, oh my goodness, yo. Oh, some, no. some, some other Hold ones. On. Yo, I got a what the fuck moment. Go for it. Yeah. So Bill Murray's character is not a human. As oh, you know, what I'm saying the he said he's not a human, but only yeah. in the parts that he needs to be human. Uh. <laughs> and if I'm Michael Douglas, right? Or if I'm Hank Pym, uh. who was you fucking you him? Well, he said that he was like, yo, but then he was like, I mean, I was fucking he was like, you know, what I'm saying I had me a little, I had me a little thing too, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but at least he was human. Yeah, this is <laughs> not human. Yeah. Well, well, you know what, though, I will say this. Like the people on Xandar, technically they not human. You know what I'm saying? Like the one that like Glenn Close is playing and stuff in Guardian. So we don't know what's a little different with them, but we definitely know they was beat to beat with pink aliens and Wait, shit and so kids. My question to you is this. So this is, I, I, I asked this on my podcast last year, right? A, a same, about that same premise. So when when um, Star-Lord got taken, he was a human. He ha- He seen humans in his world, right? At how long before you test the waters and say, you know what, I can fuck an alien? Because at when yeah. did he like when do you make that decision? Yeah, he um, will smash him in the, in the, I in mean, the I guess that's the same decision I'm, you make when you're in jail when you say you're gonna fuck a man. <laughs> let's not compare to that. No, but I'm let's asking, not compare. Let, I'm hold on, let, hold the fuck up. I'm no, let's, y'all though, how let's long know. Take wait a y'all. minute, deuce. Wait a minute, deuce. You're not gonna compare <laughs> alien pussy to man pussy. That's what you're not gonna do. Okay. <laughs> That boosted, that, that. that boosted. <laughs> boosted I mean, I'm, interracial pussy ain't the real, same real quick, I've never been to jail, so I've never had to make that decision. But I'm gonna- I did it outside the jail. But then, <laughs> <laughs> then- I made it outside the jail. It's like, I didn't need to go to jail. I tried it out on my own. Nah, <laughs> but I was just like, I just felt like, she made it like. At what point do you say I'm going to go have? I'm going to fuck an alien. Like, well, yeah, that's what I'm you. asking y'all for you for y'all. Oh, at you what it? point you get you get you get put okay. into space, the quantum realm? At what point do you say I'm gonna give it a shot? Okay, so let me ask you this: At what? Let's so so this is how we'll 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 put this into a equation of how long this will take, because we all mentioned we knocked down She Hulk. She hope got gamma radiated pussy. <laughs> How long you waiting until you knock down She hope? Let's say like y'all that went on y'all first date. How long before then? Before you like you know what? I'm gonna take the oh, chance boy. and go ahead and dive in this gamma radiated uh, gamma vagina, radiated, right baby. Because you creating a new STD. <laughs> How long you? How long gonna, you wait? You gonna melt that condom off, yo? So, so here's the. Here's the thing with She-Hulk, listen here. We if I'm on a dating app, it's hey, it's night of. I might, I might look in. <laughs> you got you got, but like I said, it, it's it's levels because, like, okay, like I think about Gamora, right? If I came across Gamora, I'd probably go for the right. But you if why? I came across like Mantis, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> like, man, I don't know. man, y'all hey, wild. Man. All you, alien pussy is the same in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Because if, if, if Janet has smashed a nigga in the quantum world, I'm certain there's no condoms there. And I'm certain 
There's new STDs. I'm talking <laughs> that new pneumonia STD. <laughs> like, I'm, and she brought that back to 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 Hank. What's his name? What's his, um, Hank. Yeah. To Michael hey, Douglas. Hey, well, well. Can somebody go to Dion's house <laughs> and take his computer? Because <laughs> you know, you, you, I'm like, how? I, I, I don't need a computer, my nigga. <laughs> if, if if we as humans can smash a monkey and create HIV, who's we? We, 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 we aren't smashing monkeys. I said we as humans. Who's, who, that's bro, not how bro. HIV started. <laughs> I mean, well, it kind of is, but. It's yeah. not at all how they start, but I don't, well, I don't know. That's what they said. Well, I'm just right. Saying, I was, yeah, they, I'm being they, PC. the one, the hey, ones I'm, that was doing it. They, I'm yeah, being them. PC. I'm being PC. Yeah, that's what we'll they just said. We'll agree like. to disagree. We'll just do. But how I feel it. offline? Yes, that's another story for another time. Yeah. Yes, but um, so you day of Deuce just in gamma radiation. So alien pussy, you one night. I, I, if, if it's She Hawk or Gamora, I'm down. Nah, fuck that man. Uh, you got yeah. Uh, you nah. You got to get the one he said. Put them them teeth in him. And no, I'm not down with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that that's a no go. Yeah, teeth in him. That's yeah, a no go. That one. You know that one Star Lord was talking about. It. I'm talking about that one. Cause we I, all I, got I, that. I, we all got that one. We called at 3 a.m. Which one you calling 3 a.m. to the <laughs> shit? I'm talking about that. Uh, Clint, how long you waiting? Um, how long am I waiting? Man, I might just have to rub one out for the rest of my life. Rub bro. one out. Yeah, I don't think I can I don't think I can bring myself. I don't care how fine of an alien she is. Like even the chick that was like you saw the guy who could read minds and then the Xeno fake Xeno war. Yeah. I don't know her name. Yeah, Jatara, what is her name? Janara or something yeah, like I that. I can't remember. I wasn't I ain't even she's as human as possible. I ain't fuck, I can't I couldn't yeah, tell. it's wild. So yeah, so you world. so you passing it up. I'm rubbing my quantum dick. <laughs> Neon, what about you? I, I, I'm with him, man. It's wild to think that, man. It's that's a whole different species. Like, yeah. like what is my told you? Listen, listen to me very clearly. The ones that look human are the worst or the most poisonous. But that broccoli bitch right there, that's <laughs> where it's at. Bitch. <laughs> like if I just say that, you be like, ah. Hank said, that guy looks like broccoli. <laughs> hey, he tried, oh shit. Hey, he and, and he tried and he tried to holler at uh Cassie. He was like, hey, so what you want? Yeah, he, <laughs> he, he pulled up you, on her at the bar, come, like, hey, you come in often. <laughs> My man said that guy looks like broccoli. <laughs> I don't know. Broccoli, man. What was his name in the credits? I, I have no look. idea. I we gotta know find out who is broccoli man. Or broccoli girl, or broccoli. Clarence Johnson. <laughs> or just, or it should be broccoli. Name. Why? Why they don't you call him broccoli? Oh, that's funny. That'd be the that'd be the Stanley character. They probably don't even have his <laughs> have a name. That's the thing too. It's like, yo, what 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 was he even named? Don't know. Because I'm on IMDb. I'm like, <laughs> what's the name? Bro oh, broccoli man, Graham Fox. His name is Graham. Graham. What? Fox. It, it, the character name? No, no, the actor. The actor's name is Graham Fox. He was literally called Broccoli Man. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, he's literally credited as Broccoli Man. Um, oh, he was in Eternals. Ain't what? no way, man. Hmm. Probably the, the, actor the actor or the Broccoli, or the broccoli guy? No, no, well, of course the fucking actor. Why would the Broccoli guy be <laughs> in well, Eternals? Hey, that, listen, I was about to say, did I miss him in, in, yeah, in, in Eternals? Eternals, man? It's not like you said, like, Black Widow. <laughs> no, he does voice. He does voiceover work for him and stuff like that. So he's done like Elden Ring, um, Eternals, Assassin's Creed, and stuff like that. So he seems to be like one of uh, those cats. Um, so I don't Dang, think they gave credit whole, to the person. And there's a whole race of them. <laughs> yeah, broccoli men. Yeah, the broccoli men were mostly grown on slabs of genetically modified kelp That's and run on a Beyond Why Corporation. This? Why are we doing this? Well, think about it, because you got uh, <laughs> what's his face? What's his face made out of rocks? So, are we yeah, really poor. shocked that? Yeah, yeah, are we really shocked that somebody's made out of broccoli? That's why I said they should definitely have a a, a quantum t a Disney Plus series because it, it's a world that can be unpacked. It's it's so much to how we get here. That was they born and raised here, or has anybody oh. cast here? But you, you know, know some you know oh, some layers yeah. to that. That's some that's some layers for you too, because you know broccoli's man made. So. 
Ooh. What was the real, real moment they gave us? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Them some man made beans, man. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, so with this though, like you know, before we start wrapping up, let me ask with this movie being seen and what we discussed today, where does this leave you now moving forward to phase five? What's I believe next? I what's believe what's next is Guardians of the Galaxy three, yep. along with uh Secret Invasions and then Loki season two. So <clears throat> I, I here's the thing. I believe that this was supposed to be a big, big, big kickoff for phase Man. five. And for me, it wasn't a big kickoff. <clears throat> it was a it was a nice launch. It wasn't a big kickoff. It was a, it was a nice launch. I need to see Kang more right and when i say i need to see him more i know i'm gonna see him in loki too but i need to see him where i least expect to see him and yeah. all of these things because i think we're going to be in phase five for the next two years so <clears> all <throat> the movies this year shows this year and all the sh- movies and all the shows next year phase six does not begin until 2025 when you're going to start getting you know of course the avengers movie and we're going to uh, we don't know what shows they have slated and then we know i think the end of phase five <clears throat> give us a cap a new captain america movie which is coming out next year and a new uh and a fantastic four film yeah I, like they need <clears throat> i mean for me where it leaves me at is i'm curious to see where else i'm going to see kang throughout phase five because we know we're going to see him in phase six but where else outside of loki and maybe a, a couple of what if episodes when are we going to see <clears throat> kang before we get to the when because here's the thing right did we we didn't see thanos before the avengers threat but we knew what the main conflict was which was the infinity stones so we saw them popping up around the mcu between yeah. phase three and phase between phase two and phase three you know what i mean or beginning of phase three so i just need mm-hmm. to see that that's what i need to see but we did get pieces of Kang, like in end credits and stuff like that, because he went through a whole bunch of facial changes till they got like the Josh Brolin face yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, so they, he was blue at one point, remember? Oh, you mean Thanos? Thanos. Yeah, yeah, because we saw yeah. Thanos at the end of the Avengers, the first mm-hmm. one. Yeah, and yeah, but we knew the Infinity Stones were the Infinity Saga was. Yeah, was yeah. The Stones you remember? You remember in the movie when he was like a when he was like a Have I killed you before? Were you the one with the hammer? I would much rather have him say, Were you the porper guy with the funny looking chin? Oh, he fucked up Thanos. You know what I'm saying? Well, it'd be nice. It'd be nice if he said that. Like, yeah, I killed Thanos. The nigga, y'all, y'all been fighting for years. I killed him too. That I mean, I get what you're saying, but also, if you were, there's like three people that can successfully like we we beat Thor. Like Thor is still a problem. It's just right. The you know what I'm saying. So I get he got, why he got manhandled by the Hulk three a couple movies ago. So oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. He beat the Hulk. Uh, he beat, he beat the Hulk. He got electrocuted, and that's why he lost. Remember, oh. he kicked the whole ass. Yeah. So Thor is a problem, but yeah, also too problem. that also that also shows you how minute Thanos is in this whole timeline. Right. Where I don't even have to bring him up. Do you remember? Do you remember <clears> when <throat> they had the Infinity Stones and Loki? How that, how that was like kind of like yeah, we use those as paperweights. So yeah. if he had said, I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying like he's like, have I killed you before? He was like, uh, are you the guy with the perp? Were you the you know what I'm saying that that was trying to collect the stones? Like, if he had said something like that, like, oh shit, he kind of like forgot that, yeah. like, that's how powerful he was. But but I would I wouldn't I wouldn't have said that to Ant Man like that. I think he gave the perfect comparison. <laughs> Nobody from, respects Ant Man. <laughs> no, if you think of it from human <laughs> to God and stuff like that, it's like yeah, it's like yo, he looks at Thor like dang. Like Thor is that all powerful dude? Yeah. Like he ain't he ain't really tripping on Thanos because then too he's evil as well. So it's like, why would he cross Thanos to do anything like that? Yeah. It is the Avengers that would initially stop him yeah. from doing that stuff. But I wouldn't have wasted my line on yeah. Ant Man. Like if I was talking to like Tony or something like that, be like, <laughs> is it the are you the dude with the with the glove and stuff like that? Yeah, so with, with the little of, rocks, you, you got like the little like rocks the and rocks? stuff. Y'all all kind of blend together at one point. Yeah. He tried um, to lie and say, I called the Avengers. They on the way. Right. He said, you got the wrong guy. Like, no, nah, I, I, I kind of got the right one. I got the right one. <laughs> um, to answer your question, Will, dog, uh, where I'm at is at exactly where I was at five months ago. Before this, you saw the movie. Before I saw the movie. Because... <laughs> 
everything that this is one of the movies that I feel like it really the first time in a while that I felt like them showing what's coming up next, like when they show like their timeline of events, that uh, this movie suffered from that. Because had we not know that there was the uh, the Kang dynasty coming, right? And we just went into this movie not knowing what's coming next, I feel like it would have had a bigger impact. But with this movie and knowing how it ended and knowing that nobody, like uh, Scott didn't die and there was really no no ramifications of this movie the we we have the exact same information that we had five months ago the only thing difference is is that we saw king the conqueror and we saw the council of king that's the only that's the only thing that pushed forward but we are still at the exact same spot nothing moved you feel the same way Dale? yeah nothing nothing moved forward Mm -hmm. Like it, it, they they could introduce, they could did all the introduction to Kang the Conqueror or the Kangs, in Loki or somebody. Um, all they did is show that uh, Cassie got got a suit, and Kang is coming. So that that's the only thing that got pushed forward. The MCU doesn't know anything would happen. No, that that yeah. is that is that is my only gripe with that is something that I, <laughs> I, I wish like I wish the entire MCU would have been on alert like. This was corny when I saw it for the very first time, but I wish they would have did something like this in a better way. Remember at the end of the, the original Mortal Kombat movie, right? When you saw like, okay, the biggest threat in that in the first Mortal Kombat movie was Shang Tsung. Yeah. 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 Oh, at the end, the biggest threat was Shao Kahn. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Which anybody who plays the games knows Shao Kahn is him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I wish we would have seen like, nah, dog, not only is Kane coming, Kang's here. Yeah. That's that's why Scott should have died. Because yeah. you know, if Scott would have died and then got out and then Kang got out in the world, that would have had an immediate impact. Everybody would have been like, oh shit, what what wait, wait a minute. Because even though he, he's not the most respect respected Avenger, shit, if somebody kills an Avenger, that's going to make waves. It like, wait noise. a minute. Well, also, yeah. too, the only the last remaining Avenger like that besides Captain America. So I think even too for myself, you y'all all brought up a really big point, and I think that this is another reason why it caused that movie to not have the impact it was going to. They need to stop announcing all this stuff coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You we shouldn't have known that Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars are coming out because. Even looking at this slate that they have coming out for 2023 doesn't match what you're announcing. Like So just like even like Clint said, based off of what they have coming out, we're not going to see a lot of Kang because the next thing is Guardians of the Galaxy 3. That's mm-hmm. wrapping up Guardians of the Galaxy because James, uh, James Gunn is gone. So we, And we know Batista's already confirmed that, like, yo, this is the last time you're mm-hmm. going to see this set. So this is their end. So we don't even know how that really ties into the MCU, but it's probably just going to push it a little bit forward. Then the next thing is secret invasions and then the Marvels, which ties into the scrolls. And the scrolls don't necessarily tie into Kang whatsoever. So you're now introducing me into another potential bad that we have to see what's going on with them. How have they surfaced? So the next time we even may see Kang is in Loki 2. Which is not gonna not gonna be until late 2023, and then oh, the ne- they say what well, they say yeah well, they're saying like the summertime so I'm thinking it might drop around July I mean well, when is it Guardians of the Galaxy coming out uh, uh, May. March March May 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 May, no, yeah. May 5th May 5th is probably give us Loki at the beginning in, in August they'll give us Loki in August yeah because Secret Invasion got to come out first before mm-hmm. Loki yeah. too but then you have like what if coming out then the next thing is the Echo series because they had already I'm shot not even this interested stuff. in that. Right, but then the next thing is Ironheart. And so, and then right, right after that is X Men 97. Has nothing to do with Kane. Agatha yeah. Christie and the Co- Coven of Chaos. Nothing that has nothing to do with Kane. Then, like, the next thing they've even letting us know that's even coming out is oh. Daredevil, which ain't going to be tied to Kane. And then Captain America New World Order, nothing which okay. most likely won't be tied to Kane. And then the Thunderbolts. Which is not going to be tied, but apparently that's the one that's supposed to be really involved in what's going to turn the MCU upside down, which I don't believe at all. You know what they should have did? And I know this is, I mean, as a, as a studio paying, they probably couldn't financially, they couldn't did this, but because we're dealing with Kang and the different variants, all these shows and movies 
the villain should have been should be a variant of Kang. So that where yeah. everybody has their own individual version of Kang that they're fighting, and you go through this whole movie or series, right? Like, ah, man, th- hey, this took me to the ringer. You know what I'm saying? And then only to find out there's a more vicious version of the nigga that you just spent all season fighting against. Wait a that minute. That would have that would have been fire because then now it's all connecting with a Kang. Wait, so if you do that though, hold on, hold on. So now wait. Now let's break this down a little bit. So uh, one thing I'm going to say before I even get into that breakdown. One, I think they showed Kane too much in Quantumania. I think what they should have started off with us, if they never introduced us to Jonathan Majors becoming Kane, Like, you could have let us know it's he who remains and say, oh, okay, cool, bet. Who is this big bad coming? Then this next one, keep him as how he first got there. Like, what is this place? Drag, you should have dragged that as much as you possibly could. Then we find out that the reason why Janet did what she did is because, no, this guy is actually evil, and that's the one everyone has been talking about. And then it reveals him in his suit to show that, oh, okay, this is a cane, and this is the conqueror. But as y'all are stating, there is a lot of room to drop him off in these pieces. I don't think Secret Invasion is where they're going to drop anything off. Loki, too, we know we're getting Victor time. And yeah. so for the Marvels, I don't see that happening. I see that happening with the scrolls. But for Echo, Ironheart, and even Captain America, I can see what his name is, Mr. Griffins. I always forget his name, but the guy that owns the Kang buildings, uh, the Q-E-N-G buildings. I can see that being the another one that they introduce as a Kang to show us in this time. Because we don't, because the thing is, what I've noticed too is we no longer have a big superpower in the MCU like a a Stark Industries, Hammer Industries, AIM. None of those are in there. So the only one left that could even come to do that stuff is uh, QENG corporations. And then that's how you start showing us another Kang involved in this because he could also be included in Daredevil along with Kingpin. So that's a way for us to get another cane to be able to start going into this to get us situated in there. But as we know, how Kevin Feige be acting. Is that the direction they're going to go in? I don't know. Then that, that's, that's the issue. This movie didn't give us any direction right now. So <laughs> Yeah. But as at all in all, though, as an Ant-Man movie, I think this was a great Ant-Man movie. And I think this is a great ending to that franchise. Um, I got it as the best Ant Man out of the three. Yes, me too. I, I agree. Yeah, and so once you leave it at that, wait, 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 Dion, you agree? So what did you give Ant Man one and two? If you're giving this one a four, no, I, I'm talking about the <laughs> franchise. I said I enjoyed the movie as itself. Okay, <laughs> okay. But this being the 31st movie. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what he gave a four out of ten. Okay, yeah. okay. I was like, no, we. I need to see. It's Quantum Mania. I need to see Mania. Marvel yeah. got to get rid of them hot they, words. They, they got to get rid of them hot words. words. Yeah, like, bro. It's like saying the United States, but we only stay in Chicago. It's like, <laughs> it's like I need to be all over the place. I need to see <laughs> timelines. I need I need different universes. I need to be going all over the place. I need to we see didn't. glimpses. I need to see the X-Men. I need to see Fantastic Four. I need to see Deadpool. I was like, I'm about, it's about to be crazy over here. Yeah, yeah. And I and, and I don't see the, and I don't see where that starts. And that's the thing too. Like now, it makes me undermine Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. I'm just like, yo, like, are y'all gonna give us that, or are y'all gonna keep it very minimal for them? Yeah. Like, are we gonna get Battle World where we see everybody fighting, or it's like, yo, like, what are y'all gonna do? Are y'all gonna make it like how Civil War was, where it's five versus five, and it's like. Yo, y'all cut out all the best people. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be highly upset if Battle World, if Secret War is all the sidekicks versus all the old niggas, and like, and they they don't bring in nobody from any of the other friends. I'm gonna be highly upset. Yeah. No, Spider, gonna, if Spider Man don't get his suit, I'm gonna be pissed. That's gonna be very lackluster. Yeah, man. So, um, but. Thank y'all for joining us, man. This has been an extended episode. We jumping into the two-hour mark, man. So, and I know these these cats are always consistently busy, man, creating dope content. And I don't want to keep them any further. So, before we get out of here, man, I just want to make sure we go around, let people know where to follow y'all and stuff before we go ahead and get out and close. I'm gonna start with Deuce, move on to Dion, and then we're gonna go with Clinton. I'll close this thing on out. Deuce, you are up. All right, man. Listen here. 
I have officially transitioned to a full time actor, voice actor, content. Hey, creator. so I need y'all to truly follow me at Young <laughs> Underscore Dukes. Thank you, thank you, uh, you know saying? Jump in, like I said, we're doing stuff for Sway's Universe. Uh, we're recapping and doing the Easter eggs and everything of The Last of Us right now. So go go to Sway's Universe page, check that out, man. Make sure y'all, you know, what I'm saying pop up in those chats and everything like that, and then yeah, just. Follow me everywhere, man. Young underscore deuces or Geek Set Podcast. Like I said, we got a lot of stuff that we're working on, and I'm now giving my all to everything on this. So I need as much support as possible. Respect. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Beyond you up. Um, I have officially transitioned to a male. <laughs> now well, it was about to be some bullshit. <laughs> all out. I am officially a male now. I have dropped the N E on the my name if you want to know the if you want to know the journey please join my patreon you can see the surgeries and um <laughs> too soon okay all right hey, yo follow me at dion lack d-i-o-n-l-a-c-k uh that's it um yeah. Been working for 30 years and still ain't got canceled yet. Just, just, just no <laughs> I, like canceled. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey man, just just uh just follow me, Clint mm-hmm. Coley. I don't really have I don't I didn't transition anything. I will I've been a male since birth. Uh I will always be a man. Uh I'm I'm happy to say that I, I don't plan to transition to anything else. And I'm just happy to be here talking Marvel shit with black. Yeah, people. hey. I watch new rock stars. I watch, you know, Screen Crush with Ryan Neri. And there's no Maybe. reason why that there's a bunch of us black people who are nerds who need to be uh, tuned into the geek set, tuned in to to straight out of a comic book. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, I, I I support this space. That's that's my last message, man. I support yeah. this. I support black people talking nerd shit. Oh yeah, absolutely. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. We appreciate each guest we always have on here. We appreciate the audience that is checking this out, man. And we're going to make sure this thing consistently keeps growing. So uh, make sure you continue to check out Shroud of a Comic Book. We're going to definitely look to be moving into brands and sponsorships to be able to get to this show so we can get into some in-studio stuff, especially with, you know, Mr. Deuces now just being full-time, being able to get him out here, have a real, us all together in a real studio, being able to talk comic book stuff. Man, even, you know, be there up in the Lack Studios. Turn hey, you know, the studio, baby. area. You Cook. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but make sure y'all keep checking out the show. Uh, I am transitioning as well back into Twitch. <laughs> uh, just so that's clear. Yeah. Uh, man, know, we gotta start streaming playing Grand Theft Auto, man. Yeah, Bro, man. Bad, hey, man, boy, GTA, man. Let's hey, do it. Drop hey when you get a chance. Wait, what, what you you PlayStation? I'm PlayStation. Oh, yeah, we, we hey, drop drop your PSN in the private chat. I gotta add you. Um, deuce, if you ain't doing nothing tonight, we hopping on at 6 30. If you on Grand Theft Auto, come join us. All right, I'm with you. Come come run in. Bro, yeah, I, man, I, I'm fam, I well, I, my original crew I started with everybody xed out on me, so now I'm just on there by myself. Well, hey, bro, we got a heist that we about to do in about a heist. about two hours, dog. We yeah, bro, come join us. Come hop on, I, man. Hey, hey I'm, I, I'm with it. I trust me. I'm on it. I'm I got this you. I'm yeah, man. So y'all can check out that. I'm gonna definitely bring that to the Twitch, and then as well as my journey through Hogwarts as well, man. I know we wanted my fans wanted to see that, so I'm definitely finna bring that back and just keeping this thing rolling. So I appreciate everybody that checks out my stuff that continues to support me, man, and just tells me to keep going. <laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah, with that, that, ladies and gentlemen, it's been another (laughs) episode. Uh, Straight out of a comic book. Let us know what you rate the Ant Man Quantum Mania in the comments below, man. Out of a one in ten, let us know what you rate it below, and we shall catch y'all next time.